This is To Hatch a Pod. Sit back and relax as Key, Corey, Greg, and Ashley talk about what's happening in and around To Hatch a Pod. It's To Hatch a Pod time, Key Budge, Claire Scatty. Today, Claire, welcome back. Thank you. I'm always happy to be here. And today's a really exciting day to be on the podcast and to share what's coming up. It's June. It's June. June we've, 1st. We've turned the calendar. We're another month and something's happening today. Hmm. Hmm, let's see. Oh, Farmer's Market kicks off. And every yes. Thursday through <laughs> August 17th from 4 to 7, right here in downtown Tehachapi, Farmer's Market. And yes. you're going to be doing something special there. Yes. So we will have a booth right in front of Stray Leaves this year. And we have Tatchby Winery with us and Old West Brewing, and they will have beer and wine tastings. So you can come up and get a glass of beer or taste a couple different varietals. Or if you'd like to try some of Tatchby Winery's local wine that's grown here, they will be providing that. And we are there to answer any questions, to book any experiences that you would like to book, any tours. We're very excited to be there and to be a part of Farmer's Market. Farmer's Market is something that everyone in the Tehachapi area that's been here for a while looks forward to because it's a chance to bring the family out. It's a family-friendly event. There's lots of variety of produce and handmade craft goods, and then plus the special food eateries, you know, with our wine and our local beer. It's just a, a and the music. Yes. <laughs> so it just, a, it's a great place to kind of kick off the weekend, if you will. I absolutely agree. I know my daughter is very excited. You know, she's three and a half and she heard about the kids crafts and little activities. And of course she loves the game. She loves the food. She loves the ices, the music. She's very excited. <laughs> and then when you get done with Farmer's Market, there's probably other things that you get to choose to do around Tehachapi. Yes. <laughs> Let's talk about what our vineyards are up to. Okay. Just so you know, Tehachapi Wine and Cattle Company is now open on Fridays. They are doing their Friday night happy hour. So that means all of our vineyards are open on Fridays now. Perfect. So yes, get ready. The weekend just got even better. <laughs> Let's start at Triassic Vineyards. On Friday, they're open noon to 6. And then on Saturday, they have Walt and Pam playing from 2.30 to 5.30. All the music has expanded an extra hour now that we have so much wonderful sunlight <laughs> taking us through the day. Cub and Gup will be there Saturday. And on Sunday, we have Stephen David Austin playing at 2.30. And of course, they have charcuterie and you know goodies all throughout the weekend. They also have a Father's Day fun event coming up June 18th from 2 to 5. They will have a special tri-tip meal provided by Mosner Farms. And this event is $30 plus tax. You'll need to call for reservations. And they will be providing a cornhole and horseshoe throwing tournament. So I know when you go, get out there on the weekends, a lot of families and dads in particular, I notice, are out there throwing horseshoes or they're playing cornhole or they're playing games with the kiddos. And this is kind of an opportunity to really celebrate dad and show off those skills. It'll be a lot of fun. Yes. So if you want to grab a spot for that event, call 661-822-5241. Over at Tatchby Wine and Cattle Company, they have their happy hour on Friday, and that is $2 off glasses and 10% off bottles. Evan Morgan will be there playing from 3 to 6. And then on Saturday, the Holy Crow Jazz Band will be playing from 2 to 5. And then on Sunday, Mark Anthony Castrion is coming back, and he will be playing from 2 to 5 as well. This weekend for Tatchby Wine and Cattle Company, this is their wine club pickup party. They are open to the public, but because they are going to be very busy, they have a limited menu this weekend. So they'll have that charcuterie, tri-tip sandwiches, an avocado shrimp cocktail, and sangria. Over at Tatchby Winery, they will be here tonight for Farmer's Market. They're very excited. Friday night, they have their happy hour from noon to 6. And remember, that's 20% off all wine purchases. And then on Saturday, Mike Peters is playing from 2 to 5. And Claudia's Catering will be there. And on Sunday, Nick Slater is coming to play from 2 to 5. Now, I have heard that Nick 
recently signed with a label and is moving to Nashville here soon. So we want to extend our best to him and congratulations, Nick. We're so excited for you, but we're really going to miss you. Way to go. (laughs) So this may be your last opportunity to hear him if you are a big fan. So head over to Tatchby Winery and get that last little concert. Over at Dorner Family Vineyard, they are open from 2 to 6 on Friday, and they will have their charcuterie. This weekend, on Friday, they have that ladies' night happening from 6 to 9. That's $22, and that includes a slushy, a wine slushy. And uh, just head on over and blow off some steam. Saturday, Tom Carlson will be playing from 1 to 5. And on Sunday, Carrie Park will be there from 1 to 5. And all throughout the weekend, they'll have charcuterie, sub sandwiches, you know, turkey Havarti sandwiches. And then on Sunday, they're making those personal-sized pizzas again. It's pizza time. All right. <laughs> very, very excited. And yes, pineapple belongs on pizza. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I can find articles that prove <laughs> they've looked at the science. You can always find beer, sangria, slushies, wine floats, and gelato at Dorner. And coming up, they have several events in June that you're going to want to put on your calendar. On June 16th, their Summer of Zin concert series begins, and that's from 6 to 9. And that night, they will have Milo Sledge Trio playing, and it's $40, including dinner. On June 24th, they have another wine blending class that takes place from one to three. This is $90 per person. And I was looking at you know pictures and some video that was taken during their last wine blending. It looked like so much fun. Everybody learned so much. I know Mike Dorner was very excited and the way that it all came together, he said it just went off without a hitch and he was so excited to do it again. Love it. Yes. <laughs> if any of these sound like something you want to do, head over to DornerFamilyVineyard.com forward slash shop forward slash reservations and you can grab a ticket. All right. Our breweries are also up to no good. <laughs> <laughs> Local Craft Beer has their musical open mic night tonight and Haywood's Hot Dogs will be there. So you can go to the farmer's market and over to LCB. Yes. I like it. <laughs> Just fill up your whole Thursday night. And then on Friday, Lupita's Tacos will be there. On Saturday, they have Matthew from the Colonies coming to play. I believe he starts at 6.30 or 7. And then Wednesdays, we have Geeks Who Drink Trivia Night starting at 6.30. And Poke Express is usually the one who is there to cater. West Lane has paint night tonight. And this paint night is especially fun because it is geared toward kids. So it's open for kids of all ages to come, and they're going to paint Toad from Mario Kart. (laughs) This is $25. All materials are provided. And yeah, you can just, you can hit up West Lane or As Unique as the Art and let them know, hey, I want to do this with my kid. (laughs) So it might be a really fun, different kind of paint night to be a part of. Kiki's Tacos will be there. And then on Friday, we have Thrift Store Troubadours coming to play, which is a new band I haven't heard of. And then Reverend Red will be performing a little bit later in the evening. That all starts at 7. All ages are welcome to come to West Lane and enjoy that. And Whole Shot Pizza will be providing pizza on Friday. On Saturday, it's the first Saturday of the month, so they have their brews and buys from noon to 4. And then they have a punk concert starting at 6.30. This will be a $5 cover charge, and you're going to see War is Hell, Government Surveillance, Riddick, and a couple others that I saw that might be joining as well. And then Poke Express will be there. All right. Yes. Now, please remember, West Lane is closed for a private event this weekend, but they'll be back at it next weekend. Very good. Let's talk Discover Tehachapi, what you and Chris offer, your husband. You guys have a a special experience that you always make available. Thank you. Yes, every weekend we offer wine tours and brewery tours. These tours are all inclusive. So that means that if you have a party of four, we will come pick you up at your house. Or if you just want to go with your loved one or by yourself, we have designated areas where we can park you, pick you up around town. We go to the winery or the brewery. You can enjoy full tastings. Talk to the wine growers or the vineyard managers or the tasting room owners or the brewers who are making this beer. And you can learn so much about the process and their history 
and, or, I mean, just hang out and have fun. <laughs> yeah, and, and learning each of the owners, their backstories, they're all different, very unique, and they're just so interesting to add to the flavor of what they do. Yes, absolutely. And we make sure you have plenty of time to enjoy those tastings. We offer a full catered lunch that comes from our industrial licensed kitchen, and I can adhere to any dietary preferences that you have. And, you know, we include water and snacks and history and all kinds of fun stuff all along the way. So this is really a wonderful experience. Our brew tours are $125 a person and our wine tours are $135. And of course, we have other events coming up too. We have charcuterie classes that we just added for August, September, and October. And our Sipping Under the Stars event is coming up in August and September. And that's where you will have a full all-inclusive experience where you get to go down in the basement and the wine gr- making area of Dorner Family Vineyard and learn how Mike makes those wines. And you can take a little taste from the barrels and see how that wine is coming along. And then you enjoy a wonderful four course dinner and learn a little bit more about the vineyard. You can kind of tour around and you have almost the whole place to yourself. And then as the sun goes down, the Bear Valley Springs Astronomy Club gets out all of their telescopes. And they will give you a tour of our beautiful Tehachapi night sky. And they're going to show you the planetary bodies that are visible that night. Sometimes you'll get to see the Milky Way. You'll get to pick out constellations and really learn so much about our universe and you know the, the sky that you see every night. While enjoying a nice glass of wine. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can it get much better? I know. And then you guys also have... As people go out on their tours and they purchase a bottle, you guys have special storage so you don't experience bottle shock. Correct. Yes. Thank you. We have very, very special storage boxes that have an ice cooler in the middle of them. And they are designed so that bottles don't have bottle shock while they're being shipped across the country. So riding in our bus, the, you know, from point A to point B to get home to you, they don't have very far to go, but we want to make sure that none of those bottles get too hot riding in the bus, especially in the summertime. And we want to make sure that that wine is, it hasn't changed since the time you bought it to the time you take it home. So we take very good care of all of your purchases. So Claire, let's tell people how they can follow along with the Discover to Hatchby journey. We are on Facebook and Instagram at Discover to Hatchby. You can find us at discovertohatchby.com. That's where you can book all of these events. And you can always give us a call, 661-235-5334. And if you want to design a custom tour where maybe you want to go to a brewery and then a winery and then bowling or something, you just want to create a whole day. If you have eight people, Give us a call and we can set that up and make it happen. Perfect. And then also a reminder that Old Vineyard Charm also has uh, wine tours and shuttle service. You can reach them at 661-221-3660. So Claire, anything else, the outside activities outside of our wineries and breweries and the farmer's market that people can do this weekend? Yes, this weekend. It's the first weekend of June. So we know that we have first Friday. We have TVAA Gallery and Gifts. They will be featuring Susie and Bill Bishop. And Susie does beautiful acrylic paintings of wildlife and all these gorgeous paintings. And Bill does these amazing wood carvings. And you'll see a lot of different kinds of birds and fish and just an assortment of beautiful artwork. We know that there's food and drink and you get to meet Susie and Bill and meet some other artists that work at Gallery and Gifts. And then over at our Tatchby Art Center, formerly the Treasure Trove, they are also doing their first Friday as well. And they will be featuring Adriana, who works with embroidery. And so she does like these beautiful tapestries with embroidery and these beautiful pictures. And so that's something else that you might want to learn about and see how she does it and meet her and and see if that's something you'd want to take home. So their first Friday is from 5 to 7, and there will be food and some beverages available as well. And Gallery and Gifts first Friday starts at 4 p.m. And then we know we have Kids Craft at Home Depot on Saturday at 9 a.m. But I need to back up because the American Legion has bingo Friday night (laughs) over at their headquarters over here. On F Street, yeah. Yes. 
And so we know that the library has things going on every week, but this week they have a book sale on Saturday starting at 10 a.m. And they're going to have a ton of books and that money goes toward all of the wonderful programs and activities that the library is able to provide to our community. So stop by. I know I'm going to stop by and look for some more kids books that we can put in the little library over by the Helena Chavez preschool. So I'm going to be looking for something specific. (laughs) (laughs) Very good. On Thursday night, library has Lego Club at 2 p.m. And on Friday, they have their preschool story time at 11.30 and Doodle Club at 4 p.m. We have a few things happening later on in the week. Happening on Saturday, Red House Barbecue is doing a Hawaiian luau. This happens every once in a while, and they're able to bring on some entertainers and some really authentic, wonderful Hawaiian entertainment. And they have a an amazing Hawaiian menu as well. So that will start at 515. You have to get tickets to this. It's $45 a person or $30 for anyone under 12. And you'll need to call the Red House Barbecue or maybe message them on Facebook. Okay. On June 8th, the Family Life Pregnancy Center is doing their ribbon cutting. They have been part of Tehachapi since 1989, and they recently moved to a new location that's going to suit them very, very well. They're very excited. And so if this is something you want to go to and be a part of and celebrate, they will be cutting their ribbon at 430 to 6 at 103 East C Street. On June 10th, Gallery and Gifts TVAA will be having their Maker's Market at Railroad Park, and usually that starts at 10 a.m. So head over middle of the day on the 10th and 11th, and there are going to be a lot of wonderful local artisans selling a lot of their goods, and it's always, you always find something really cool over there. And then on the 10th and 11th, there will also be a model train show happening On Saturday, it'll be 10 to 5, and Sunday, 10 to 3. And this will be at the Monroe Gym next to Coy Burnett Stadium between Snyder Avenue and Tatchby Boulevard. We also have a cat adoption event happening on Saturday by Fix and Feral Felines. This will be at the Healthy Hippie Trading Post at 20418 Bryan Way, Saturday, 11 to 3. And I do want to do another plug. We have Screw Cancer Forever happening June 10th at Dorner Family Vineyard, 4 to 8. This is not a ticketed event where you have to get reservations ahead of time. You can just come. They have open doors. And then if you want dinner, that is $25. So if you want to order dinner, you'll want to get that going. They would just want everybody to come and be a part of this. There will be a live auction, an opportunity drawing. They're going to do a wine pull, a photo booth. DJ Peter will be there, some really good music. And also, of course, great wine for purchase as well. This is an amazing opportunity for us in the community to support the Tatchby Cancer Foundation, who provide amazing relief for a lot of the residents in our community who are on this or in this battle. Yeah. And if you'd like more information, you can reach out to Jeanette Devlin at 661-699-0668. All right. We've covered a lot. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. I was a little bit all over the map here. I was trying to follow my notes. If you're listening, I hope you found and heard something that you'll want to do this weekend. Yeah. And just so you know, because no one can see your notes, I can. It's uh, you've got a, uh, a binder, you open it up and you've got very, you're very organized, but I can tell that you've got two pages filled with writing. You've got it. They're numbered. They're separated. You've got them all categorized. So you put in a lot of time and effort. So thank you. Thank you. Yes. And this is one of those where yesterday I had them all in order. And then I kept finding like, oh my gosh, the luau is happening. I got to put that in there. And oh my gosh, there's something else happening. And so I, yeah, my notes kind of got scrambled. <laughs> well, again, thank you for all the effort you put in. I know that our listeners appreciate it. They look forward to listening on Thursday, what they're going to be looking forward to over the weekend. So it is appreciated by the community as well. Well, thank you. <laughs> and once again, uh, let's talk your social medias and website. Yes. So give us a call at 661-235-5334 for any questions. Uh, visit us online, discovertatchby.com 
or social media, Instagram and Facebook at Discover to Hatchby. And a lot of this information you also post to your social media. So if you miss some of this or you want to see it visually in front of you, you can go to any of Claire's social media or website and you'll find this information again. Yes, yes. We post what the breweries are doing and what the wineries are doing. But if you want to hear about what other things are happening around in town, you got to tune into to Hatchpod. That's, that's the exclusive <laughs> piece that we have. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Claire. Well, thank you. Uh, appreciate the time. And folks, if you've got an event that's coming up that you would like Claire to talk about, send it to us at media at TehachapiCityHall.com. We appreciate the time you spend with us. And Claire, enjoy your June. Thank you. You too. Tehachapod is a conversation about Tehachapi, featuring the community members who make this such a special place to call home. If you have a question or a thought you'd like to share, email media at TehachapiCityHall.com. Thank you to Gary Mazzola for sharing his song, This is Tehachapi.